Hello everyone and welcome to Sutton's Days. Today's going to be another quickie. I'm going to show you. Phil put a pork roast in the crock pot this morning and it's been cooking. It smells amazing in here and we are going to have some potatoes and some butternut squash to go with it. So let's get started. First, uh, what I've done is pulled out my pan. I have cracked open the jar of butternut squash and I am adding some butter, 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 to the pan. We like butter. Okay, so we're going to let that butter get nice and warm. And then we have Swerve. I'll put a link uh, in the description box below. This is a uh, sugar replacement. Okay, it's non-GMO. Zero calories, natural tastes, bakes, and measures like brown sugar. And it only has four carbs per teaspoon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two teaspoons to this butter once it gets melted down. And then we are going to put the butternut squash in here. Okay, so we've got the butter melting. We're going to pull out two tablespoons. It looks just like brown sugar. Or two teaspoons. Do I have the right one? Let's find out. This is a half a teaspoon, so I need... Well, that's a lot now, isn't it? Well, we'll do it. Because I think it'll taste good. This is a half a teaspoon. So we're going to take this, mix it in with the butter, just like you would brown sugar. So if you don't want to use this and you want to use brown sugar, you can go ahead and do that. We're cutting carbs where we can. Okay. All mixed in. Now we're going to take that butternut squash. Come on, there we go. Cranberries. And remember, I said these you can pick these up. You can pick these up because they're still firm enough to pick up, but they're also soft enough to mash with very little effort. So now we are going to let these sit exactly where they are. And we're going to let those caramelize on that side, and then we'll flip them over. In the meantime, we're going to start on the So I turned up the heat, and I'm letting this work its magic. Because we are going to try to... It smells so good. <laughs> we are going to um, try to burn off the little bit of liquid that was uh, still in the jar when I dumped it. But at the same time, we are going to let it... And I'm not moving these too much. I just want to make sure they're not sticking. Um, at the same time, we're going to work on caramelizing the squash. Okay, so next, we're going to buzz over here. There you go. How's that, families? Come on, there we go. Okay, so now we're going to come over here. And I'm going to grab this pan. I'm going to start heating it up. I'm going to turn the heat on, and I am going to put in some oil. In this case, I'm putting in a little bit of almond oil. Almond oil, okay. Um, you can use olive oil, use whatever. And then I'm going to open the jar Ooh, of I can tell you that liquid burned off really quick, so I turned the heat down to about half. And now we're just going to let them sit there and caramelize. But in the meantime, this is heating up, and we have our potatoes. Not an approved method. Just because I do it doesn't mean you should do it, okay? But I found these little taters, and I decided I wanted to can them up. I didn't want to lose them. So now I'm going, I've got these little taters. They are essentially cooked, okay? Moving them around in here. Now I'm going to take them and do this. Smash, just like that. I mean, it doesn't get any easier. It really doesn't. Okay, there we go. And now I am going to sprinkle on some garlic salt. You can sprinkle on whatever your little heart desires, any way that you like to season your potatoes, but we are particular to garlic salt here, okay? To garlic, anyway. So, I've got those, now I'm going to put these in the oven for about mm, 20 minutes at 4. Please <laughs> note, I did have the fire on. <laughs> I had the wrong fire on. So, I am going to put these in the oven, not the burner. I'm going to put these in the oven um, at 
four fifty. Okay. Look at these. Let's go. These are doing exactly like I hoped they would. I can see it on the side. Can you <gasps> look at that? <laughs> they are caramelizing beautifully. Okay, you do not want to super handle these. So I'm a little over anxious to show you, and I cannot even begin to tell you how good these smell. Okay? So even if you only caramelize one side, <laughs> you're good. But I don't want to mash them. So I have to get okay, a different so this. Got my tongs. Got my tongs. And, oh, you guys, look at that. Is that even focusing? I have no idea. Okay, just so very good. Okay, so we're going to get these so at least two sides have some caramelization on them. Come on. There we go. Oh, I'm telling you. Sometimes I even amaze myself. Okay. Now we're going to let these sit. We really, really are. While the potatoes are heating up in the oven. And we're going to start getting ready to Okay, so we've had these in the oven for about 15 minutes. Um, on 450. So that turned out, look how nice and <laughs> crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. And look at these beauties. Oh my gosh. I'm going to get this plated up and, and there we'll be right we have back. it. We have a beautiful pork loin fresh out of the crock pot, some caramelized butternut squash, and some smashed Yukon gold potatoes that are roasted in the oven. Look at that. I mean, seriously. Oh my gosh, look at that. Just awesome. So, just another example of what you can do with your home canned foods. I hope that this is helpful. I hope that you enjoy it. We're going to enjoy dinner. Until next time, remember, if you like what we do here, please hit that like, subscribe, and share. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and most of all, be safe.